ku ya business email right kuhusu business email unaweza kuona jua kiingereza lakini unajui maneno gani ambayo ya kutumisa okay so goza tu goza tuangalie jinsi ambao tunatuma email address right so nadhani kama uko na email address right au you know i'm assuming because yes you have email address right okay so if you don't have email address tafuta jinsi ambayo unapata email address okay <laughs> okay sasa email email jinsi email na sms sms ndio ile ambayo unatuma kwenye simu alafu email ambayo unatuma ile so zinakuwa tofauti okay hata kama zote ni short zinakuwa nga short hata kama business english and business ile business email za ibiza zinakuwa nga short kama sms lakini jinsi ambao unatuma email ambayo iko professional hata kama zote simple zinakuwa simple hivi tofauti na jinsi ambayo unatuma sms usijio uchanganya zote mbili right okay kumbuka kiingereza unaweza kuwa unajua maneno mengi ya kiingereza unajua kuandika hivi lakini unajui jinsi ambayo ya kutumisha hayo maneno unaweza kuwa unajua na email address jinsi kuandika kiingereza lakini unajui how to send email address right business email so let's show you let's remind you not teaching you but reminding you how you know you avoid certain things you mistakes you do while sending email address okay so ukiangalia okay, email email set up right kama email kwa ile ambao unatuma wewe ambao unatuma ile ndio sio hiyo ambao unamtumia ambao unapokea wewe ambao unatuma ili sisi sijui copy to sijui bila copy bila sasa na hii subject you know so na email inakuwa na type kusema kama tunaangalia jinsi tutaangalia email tutaangalia part tatu kuna header information ambayo ile ambayo ile address ambayo unamtumia na ile vingine bla bla hizi na ile subject ya mada ya kwa nini unatuma na attachment hizi tutaangalia kuhusu header information ni tutaangalia kuhusu body au message sema ambayo unaandika na mwisho mwisho ambao ambao una conclude message yako okay so so you know emails na kwa zinaonekana like you see you type here recipients right you know not talking kwenye person anga jinsi ambayo na set up hivi right okay so tunaangalia jinsi ambao wewe tu wewe ambao unatuma ngoja tuangalie email yake mnaonekana au wewe ambao unatuma from wewe ambao unatuma email yani jinsi ambao una jinsi ambao email address yako inaonekana nayo pia inaonesha kama uko professional how au uko either uko professional how au uko professional right so wakati unapata jina yani wakati unapata wewe yani from wewe ambao unatuma email address yako inakuwa vizuri kuwa email ambayo iko 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 inaweza kuwa I mean it's really good but it has to be professional it has to be easy to read and write and remember you know so usipate usiwe usiwe kama unataka una, una biashara unamtumia maybe rahisi unamtumia rahisi lakini email address yako inaonekana hivi sijui je nini ona ime na kuna chang ndefu alafu inakuwa complicate you know so inakuwa you know so be careful how you use your email address you know si kwamba maybe maybe wewe ni mwanaume maybe mume wako <laughs> alikufungulia email address alafu anakuita sijui queen wa bujumbura alafu wewe unafanya biashara zako unatumia mtu unatumia unatuma ujumbe ambao kwa biashara lakini email address yake inatoka sijui kwenye queen sijui kwa sababu mume wako <laughs> anajua jinsi ya kufungua email address alafu akufungulia anasema ah nampenda sana jose <laughs> sasa mume wako anaitwa jose alafu kwa sababu alikuwa anataka umkumbuke so alikufungua hii alafu unafanya biashara zako alafu unatuma 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 ujumbe wa muhimu alafu unatuma ime ujumbe wa muhimu always kutoka kwenye mtu akonga hivi atakuwa na kuzana sijui nampenda jose jina lako naitwa susan alafu kwa sababu bwana wako anaitwa jose akufungua hii so na friendia kufungua hii so so wacha hizi ostume kutumia na hizi hizi mradi zako ambao za kitoto kitoto hivi okay alafu tena ime radius yako isiwe very complicated right isiwe complicated kwa mfano uh, maybe maybe you una deal na nguo na deal na nguo maybe duka lako linaitwa susan designers sasa <laughs> kwa mfano mtanzania mtanzania kumwambia unaweza kumwambia so ime radius yangu ni susan designers at gmail.com sasa yeye atajasema mimi najua ime radius yake ni susan designers sasa yeye akiandika pale ataandika susan designers naona kama inakuwa complicated unaona so so jinsi wewe imeduce yako ambao kama unataka kuwa biashara you have to be simple and you know professional right inaweza kuwa simple maybe unaitwa Susan Sozi so unaweza kusema maybe 
Susan Soz. No, no, Susan Soz. No, no, Susan Soz at gmail.com or whatever. No, no, come on. Let me see your book. Susan Soz. Always going to be a baby. Be a shout out. Nini, nini. Susan Soz. You know, smart, okay? So, choose a better name, right? Okay? Okay? Maybe, things are called maybe Tapeli at gmail.com. No, no, simple, okay? Who's you come on? You know, <laughs> that's, that's such a good Tapeli quality. <laughs> that's your own risk, okay? By the way, so, what kind of phone call email address? So, kind of you have to be very careful, okay? So, as a to me, to me, I'm going to to my email address. Yako, where I'm going to my email address. Yako, where I'm going to my email address. Yako, so, so, we have to angry. Okay, easy copy, copy to easy. So, we have to angry. Kusu subject. Yani, mada, yako, nino, no, to ma, your email address, okay? So, Mweza kuwa unajuuliza sasa hapa subject ni wandike kitu gani hivi subject yani tuangalia kwenye subject yani ya mada ya kwenye natuma hilo email address okay sasa unajuuliza sijui ni wandike nini hapa kwenye subject sasa unajuuliza kuwa unajuuliza ni wandike nini you know so sasa mweza mweza tukumbushene jinsa ambao ya optimize yani jinsa ambao unika kitu ambao muhimu right so it's actually simple yani kwa sabu iyo subject iyo subject makes a difference kama Wewe atafungua email address yako how hatafungua email email address yako naona kwa mfano mimi nikiangalia hapa email nikiangalia hapa email nyingi nyingi na zote nikiangalia hapa email zote zote sasa sijui kingine imetoka sijui google sijui nini sasa huyu sijui sasa sijui nisome nisome yipi ile 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 ambayo ina naona ujumbe ni poa ndio hiyo nitafungua faster faster you know sijui unaona kama you cracks now sijui ni unaona I, so uli jinsi ambayo ile subject yako inalingana kama mtu atafungua email address yako au atafungua email yako okay what so unajiuliza what subject line should i use unajiuliza nitumise neno gani ukakata unawasia una na line okay so sijiulize kwa sababu wewe tu kwamba it has to be short and relevant okay yani ile ujumbe ile man is ni mada sijui nini iwe simple short and relevant okay relevant and short yani iwe short and relevant how Usije <laughs> usije usije kusema eh usije pale kwenye subject usije kusema ah usije kusema is subject important email please check as soon as possible my friend sasa unamlazimisha yes it is, is yes ujumbe wako ni simple but hauna yani maneno irrelevant yani very relevant yani inapoteza ma yani mtu hawezi you know, imagine wewe unakutumia email unaona kama subject na uhusiana na hichi unaweza kufungua faster faster kweli you know hata kama unaona unaweza kufungua faster mtu anakulazimisha au nini au maneno ambayo umetuma au sina kitu ambao you know so au nyingine mtu anaweza kuandika yes this is my inquiry regarding in my region okay no, yes yes inaweza kuwa maybe email email ujumbe wako ambao unatuma ile mada yako subject inalingana na jinsi na message yako lakini ni maneno mengi you know so punguza maneno si lazima uandike maneno mengi unaona so, yes unaweza kuwa baby mada yetu ni kuhusu cocaine na na, na bangi na nini na nini na nini but so many words i may lose guts you know so just make it short you know seem short and relevant just say bangi and cocaine supply some oh bangi kwa nitafungua fa faster you know lakini ukiona maneno mengi sema ah huyu unaandika nini hivi na hivi so you should make it Seven short, right? So, so to me, I'm e subject. Hope you know, it. just make it short and relevant, okay? Any your foot, right? So, to Kianza, so, to Kianza, when you body, you know, when you body, right? So, to Kianza, when you body, okay, to Nandika, use normal size, use normal size, okay? See, Kwabu, see, Kwasababu, okay, maybe you may come to me, you let's do for example mtuma kwa maybe kinyata at president of kenya at president of kenya president of dot com maybe umetumia kinyata au au maybe unamwambia maybe umeandika vizuri kuhusu maybe um mkutano mkutano wa ESC East African Community naona oh don't mind i'm just writing out thing right Okay. Sasa usije ukafika hapa alafu useme sijui hello sijui hello nakutaka sijui okay naandika tu maneno yangu hivi. Alafu unakuja hapa 
alafu sijui nini okay i'm just writing just to show you right just type in here i'll show you right so sijo hoja hapa alafu unafanya text is quite huge you know una kama inakuwa si professional okay so you just have to use the you have to use the normal so again you have to use the proper font yani unatumia ile font wewe kuja hapa alafu unafika hapa unabadilisha font sijui um, sijui unabadilisha hapa alafu anasema sijui George ya sijui kwa mfano ngoja nitafuta hapa font ambayo ya kifumbafu kwa mfano maybe sijui fist okay kuna lingana na kuna kuna, kuna lingana na you know kuna na font gani ambayo una una password kutumia right so don't usbadilishe badilishe haya ma font okay we just use a uh, ordinary font maybe don't mind about the font just be very careful how which font you using right okay um what, what am i doing no na font inakuwa nayo muhimu sio kwa fake font za kitoto wakati tunatuma you know message ambayo ya muhimu okay let's continue usijo katumisa capital letters right capital letters kwa mfano inaweza kuja alafu unafanya hii inakuwa like how can i change it to capital letters here alafu nakuja hivi hii alafu natuma capital letter alafu you know alafu alafu no capital letters zinakuwa zinatisha tisha hivi you understand capital letter right usije andika message yako ikuwe kwenye capital sio capital letters right you keep the letter tisha tisha you know you make it make it small unaweza kwa unaweza kwa muandika hapa kidogo hivi then hivi kidogo maybe kama unataka kutoa like uh, you have to you if you want to highlight for example I'm assuming I'm right don't I'm writing not say because I don't have what to type in right so I should maybe sema au muandike sema sema maybe mm, harusha harusha doctor na harusha siku harusha you know unaambia sema ba kwa sababu makao makubwa yako pale Arusha unaweza unaweza kuna maybe with the iwe capital letters okay so so <coughs> yeah, yeah. sasa <laughs> igwe sasa tumefika hapa sasa wakati unasalimia wakati unaanza unaanza kuandika unasalimia hivi unaona unaanza na kusalimia okay yani kwa kusalimia bidia mise zizi ni 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 sasa maybe unaweza kujiuza me hiyo mise ina maanisha nini mise ina maanisha nini mise zina maanisha nini okay so hujui maybe unatu mise nini gani sijui nini gani okay so kumbuka jinsi ambao unatuma email lazima uwe tofauti na jinsi ambao unaweza tuma sms okay usije kaanza na <laughs> na zile hiyo okay kama kama kwa kiingereza cha kuongea tu unaweza kuanza na hello kuka kutoka kwa business english business english ya, ya maneno ni kama mnakutana hivi unaweza kusema na hello lakini kwa kuandika usije ukatakupa na kusema hello so just say maybe dear you know dear whatever so dear sasa maybe okay maybe you do miss na nino miss natumika kwa gani okay so mr mr kutumisa mr unaweza kutumia mr kwenye sijui wa wa, wa vijana men wa vijana wadogo au wa wakubwa au mali wameolewa hao hajaolewa mimi na kushana wanaume okay na wanaume okay wewe kwa kijana au lakini wanaume okay so alafu miss sema dear miss as optimia miss kama unamwandikia mwanaume ambao yuko single ambao ayuko married okay huyo ndo unaweza kuandikia neno you dear miss you are dear me okay so Mrs unatumia kwa wale mwanamke ambao yuko yuko married okay that's when you use Mrs right so maybe hujui kama huyo mwanamke yuko married au ayuko married that's when unatumia neno Miss MS okay MS aka dot ni muhimu aka dot ni muhimu kama uko sure kama maybe au, au yuko single au married au <laughs> okay, that's when you use Miss okay so kama maybe au fahamu either ni mwanamke au ni mwanaume hapo ndo unaanza na dear miss dear sama madam okay okay so so ndo hapo unaanza sijui okay so umejua miss ni nani yule ambao hana mr ila mwanaume mrs mrs yule ambao yule ambao ameolewa doctor ni nani ambao anatumia sana kwa mfano Mfano, say maybe unaandikia you know mwanamke ambao hajaolewa right au maybe humjui utaambua maybe ni so what you do unaona hii 
dear unaona hizi koma hizi ni muhimu unaona hizi ms ni hata kani mwingine hata kama wengine wakafuatilia lakini kanaonyesha kama kweli kiingereza yako ni sahihi okay maybe dear miss susan tapeli alafu hii koma ni muhimu okay hii koma ni muhimu okay <laughs> This video is going to be long. I don't want this video to be long and again I'm feeling tired, right? So let me go out for I'm feeling a bit tired and don't make the video to be long otherwise it will be boring. More boring. I know it's already boring, right? So let me go out for swimming. Nenda kuoga sio kunywa. Nenda kuoga. I'm just because I'm feeling a bit tired, right? Sasa, oje nipunzike kidogo. Let me go out for swim. When I come back, we shall discuss where to use capital letters. Maneno gani ambayo ya kuandika humu humu na nini na jinsi ambayo una 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 conclude business email business email yako, okay? Kwa Kiingereza, okay? So see you when I come back, okay? All right? See you shortly, right?